Okay, so, so after some time off for work and kids and all that fun stuff that goes along with life, we're back on the uh, Trans Am again, and what we're going to be doing is replacing the driver's tow board because of some rust that was here that I tried to fix originally, but it didn't. The, the fix didn't go well. Uh, talked about the, the old flux core welder that I used. It didn't. Of course, it didn't. It sealed the hole up, but it didn't didn't do what I needed it to. Do, so I'm now going to replace it. So what we're going to be doing is. Uh, Exposing all the spot welds along that seam uh, for the actual floorboard and then uh, making some cuts to actually get this piece out. Um, so that's where we are and we'll bring you back. Okay, so here we are. Um, got the spot welds drilled out two pans are separated. I'm starting to mask off where we're going to cut here. I'll have to redo those holes there for the, uh, that's the uh, bright switch, brightness, uh, bright headlights on off switch. Um, decided to go above that, uh, that location to get a nice straight line um, that I'll be able to uh, blend real well. It, it curves like that up, up there towards where that, uh, that dimmer switch gets mounted and so that'd be very very difficult to grind and, and uh, smooth and weld and all that stuff so I went above it um, plus there's some nastiness right in there that needs to get up so I'll probably come straight down like I did on the other side if I can find good metal uh, problem would be right down in there so we'll see how good it is but uh, we're uh, making progress. We'll uh, bring you back. Oh, something I, I did buy while well, I, I had it um, was this little Craftsman flatbed flat blade tool um, screwdriver at an angle. Uh, I've never used this thing for anything. Um, it was a thing that I bought, a kit that I bought, tool kit that I bought. Uh, but I found a semi-useful purpose for it. Um, that butt weld, or that uh, that seam was very, very tight. And what was really helpful was to get this in there underneath just to start it. And then I was able to get the, the crowbar in there slightly to, to, once I drilled the spot weld, to pop it apart. So, yeah, not the purpose of that tool, but uh, a little redneck engineering for you. Um, you use what you have. Uh, came apart real well. Popped a cart. Popped a cart. Popped apart. Um, you can see I got a little nasty right there, but all that stuff will be hammered out and fixed. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are right now, and we'll bring you back. Okay, so you see I got the piece out. It's a good thing that I included this area right here. I'm gonna start pulling this, I cut across the top and I started pulling this out, this thing creased right along there because uh, the rust was just so bad. It, had, it, was, it wasn't, you know, I beat on it a little bit to make sure that it was not coming apart, but it was on the verge of, of coming apart. So it's a good thing that I got all of that out. So you can see the box there from before. And the rust and that. And then this is this is what we have now. So pretty good lines across there. Um, you can see there's four spot welds there, four across the bottom, and then four more right there. It it fought me tooth and nail coming apart. So um, Next part will be we'll clean that uh, torque box inside of the torque box up, uh, sand it, grind it, paint it, and then weld up the little nick marks that we created because of the, the spot welds and the, uh, the grinding wheel. Uh, so I'll fix all those. Uh, and then we'll start fitting the next panel. Alright, we'll bring you back. 
Okay, so a little update. Um, been cleaning, grinding, uh, trying to get all the little rust off. You can see the the pitting. Uh, I'll probably treat that with Osfo, and then uh, after that has a chance to set up, I'll, I'll uh, clean it and then paint it um, to make sure it doesn't probably with weld through so that it doesn't uh, rust anymore. Uh, bad news is it looks like this rust right here that's on the pan needs to be replaced. It's already kind of broken through. I, I tried to fold this up to get to the pan, the, the, the tow board that tucks underneath. And I don't know if you can kind of see it. There's little light marks popping up from right where I bent it. Basically the rust is, is, is just, it was solid but it has let go. So I'm going to have to replace that piece. The even worse part is that right underneath there, you can see the, the breaking gas lines going that way, is a bracket that is welded right there. There's two spot welds for a bracket to attach the lines. So I have to remove that, patch that piece. It looks like I may have to patch that piece as well. Um, and so I'll probably just end up cutting this whole section out and replacing it. We'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to order a four pan, a front four pan that does this piece up here like I did on the other side and then just cut that out or if I just try and fabricate that piece. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm not that good at metal fabricating yet so we'll see what I have to do to get the rust out. Um, Alright, we'll bring you back. Okay, so here's where we finished up. Got the, uh, the uh, torque box all uh, cleaned, treated with OSFO, uh, cleaned again, uh, put an 80 grit uh, scratch on it, you know, to, for the paint to bite. Uh, scratches all, you know, with the DA sander, um, and then put some weld through primer on it uh, just to let it sit or let it uh, keep it from rusting um, and you can see I also cut that little section out I can make a patch for that pretty easy that's not an issue I got the bracket off the bottom um, I'll clean that up and be able to weld that back on it's not an issue that right there is an issue right on the corner of that little hump focus coming uh, put some some primer on to keep it from rusting anymore um, not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, I don't want to buy a whole floor pan just to replace that part and that. It's a little bit right there and then I'd, I'd get that lip part of it, but I'd have to cut all that out. Um, put it back in. I don't know that I want to do that. I'm going to go check and see what, what price the floor pans are um, and see if figure out if I want to do that or not. And the other thing I cleaned up back here uh, where the emergency brake goes through the the uh, front floorboard, there was a little rust in there, so I ground that down, treated it, and primed it just temporarily. I'll, I'll prime and paint all this stuff once I get the, the floorboard back in. So yeah, that's where we are. We got a uh, pretty decent uh, amount of stuff done this weekend, and in between baseball games and other stuff. Alright, uh, we will talk to you later.